Hey everyone, welcome back to another Quebec Quickie. It is so good to have you here. This episode is brought to you by DotWalk.io. I love DotWalk.io because it eliminates the hardest part of using ServiceNow's ATF framework, building the test cases. Let DotWalk's bootstrap app populate all your ATF use cases automatically. And by Aldis International. Aldis is a staffing company specializing in AI and ServiceNow skills. I love Aldis because with their AI podcasts, they're really paying it forward in the ServiceNow world. Check out the description below for how to contact the sponsors. Okay, today we're talking about reporting on questions, which gets my <laughs> finally award for scratching an itch I've had for three, four, five, 13 years now. See, back when Gilgamesh traded pelts for beer in the markets of Uruk, we thought the variables as questions you'd ask to help create the ticket, but not things we'd report on. Joke's on us. If people can see it, they want to report on it. To some extent, we've had the ability to report on catalog variables-ish, but now we can finally report on variables asked in record producers. Did you know that variables on record producers have the results stored in a completely different table? That's why variable reporting was always a half-done solution. So here I have a record producer that asks a couple really important questions we might want to report on later. And here we are on a report in the incident table, I'm going to add a criteria that uses a question. So I'm going to the question section. I'm going to find the record producer that I had, report and issue demo. And then I'm going to do the did this prevent you from work and make sure that that's yes. Furthermore, I'm going to choose columns and add the column for how much damage we thought this did. From the column selector, we can see that there's questions. I'm going to expand that. It asks me what record producer. I'm gonna use my report and issue demo. I'm gonna put the column of how much money did this cost us. Run that. So here we see the, only the three incidents where work was stopped, and we see at the end how much money did this cost us. Oh yeah, and not only can we use it in conditions and have it as a column on a list, but we can also group by it. As far as reporting is concerned, they might as well be fields. <laughs> Finally. And thank you to whoever got this done. Give that person a cookie.